We're still waiting on word on season two, but this season was over with. My fun days are gone. Anyway, if you uh, like what we're doing with this uh, channel here and you like the reviews for movies, video games, TV shows, and anime, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and turn on those notifications. And so, uh, what was your reaction to uh, this season final? Just like the title, everything came full circle. That's why I did it. Anyway, <laughs> but no, um, it it tied, you know, everything into a nice little bow. Ended the season, um, in the worst way ever. I'm not gonna say in the worst way ever. Uh, it kind of is a small cliffhanger. I'll get into that a little bit later, but it's not too much of a cliffhanger where it's like, oh, I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. <laughs> but all in all, man, great season finale. Great season. And uh, I'm glad that this chapter, essentially, has ended for the most part. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was very emotional. There you go. We got some justice out of this episode. Yes. We got some heartache out of this episode. Some serious heartache. And we got some excitement out of this episode, too. Mm -hmm. And then we got left with some more questions, too. Yes. Because, okay, yes, they finally saved girl, but they couldn't save her arm. And, ooh, that thing was messed up. Yep. But during that process, they were saying there was another way where he wouldn't die. I'm just guessing they were lying to his pops the whole time. But mm, that kind of made me a little upset, though. I don't think they were lying. I can out will divulge it, but I don't think they were lying. And yeah, we'll see. But, damn. Lost too many people in this episode. But, I honestly, don't think... It's, it's, uh, I'm assuming two is too many. No, oh, three deaths. I must be Letitia's real bad. Letitia's sister. That's one. Tick. That's two. Christina. I don't, I don't care that she's dead. Man! <laughs> I don't care that she's dead, but we had three deaths in this episode. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, she don't count. As the good guy. To me. Mm. See, I think she was just power hungry. She didn't care about anybody. Just power. That's all she cared about. Not be, not dying like her family. And I honestly think had things been a little different for her, had her she had access to power a long time ago, she wouldn't have been the same way. Hmm. Not paying on her, but at least, uh, yeah, she got her throat crushed by the bionic arm. That was dope. I was not expecting her to have a bionic arm either. That was another reaction. That was flat out dope. So, what was your favorite scene? And your least favorite? Uh, my favorite scene, honestly, would honestly be that part. The bionic arm, crushing of the neck, and then like going back and showing you like everything that Tick was doing under the scenes, you know, during mm -hmm. the whole process of setting this up. I do have a few questions. Um, when did she get the bionic arm? One, uh, I know when. Remember when she, when her mother came in with the comic book saying that uh, she learned how to do it so she can teach her, and then she said about her arm, and then mom said, "Come with in me." In that room, gotcha. It and showed it all. It happened. happened off camera. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, I'm glad they did, cause I wouldn't want to see that on camera. We've seen enough. Proof to and me. the thing is also with Tick training or letting the uh the creature. creature Protect her Protect now. her, exactly. While she was in the car waiting for them and stuff like that. And how to treat the creature. I don't know what's different about that creature because that creature is more so like black versus uh, like you, the pale. You don't, you don't know the difference? <laughs> I really don't. I'm not going to lie to you. Who's he protecting? A black person. Uh, that's true. And he whooped all those yeah, white ones. He did. He, 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 he. And the thing is, so I thought at the end with, which, when she crushed her, 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 her uh, throat, her neck, whatever, mm -hmm. that the... Uh, Creature was going to eat her head. Yeah, I thought, that was I, thought that was going too. I thought honestly, at first, the creature was going to eat the head, not her crushing the throat. Exactly. That was even crazier. Yeah. That's what I thought was going to happen. 
you know, and then the creature got up on top of the joint with the moon in the background, did a little weird howl and stuff like that. That was dope. Um, oh, least favorite. Thing. My least favorite part, man. It's tough because I mean I enjoyed the whole episode. I would have to honestly say then it would have to be them thinking that um, oh, the, sister. the sister was was able to get the get the get the get the blood, blood or whatever from her or whatever, and and she actually ended up dying or whatever. That would be my least favorite part. Okay, because it was sad, you know. Of course, uh, her sister was kind of conflicted through the whole process, and then she actually did decide to help. Ended up getting caught and killed, and then now she was basically using her body as a mm-hmm. as a skin, more so. So, but yeah, those are my favorite okay. and least favorite parts. So for me, my least favorite part will be seeing a tick, just arms go from like this, and then just just gonna put your hand on at the scene, Letty, just drop completely mm-hmm. dead. I was like, mm. I don't think he's dead, Crush by him. the way. I see. I think we're gonna have we're gonna do a separate video to break this thing down completely. I understand. We can definitely do that later. There's a lot to actually break down for that. But my favorite moment would probably have to be. Hmm. There's a few good moments in this one. Okay, so I would say my favorite moment would be before all before everybody left and get to go there. Uh, Chick and Letty and everybody else finally come together as one happy family in a way. For once, instead mm-hmm. of being all this back and forth, bickering and arguing. Even got the uh, old lover from overseas to actually participate in all this. Are you talking about when he was in the car? Yeah. Oh, uh, having that little touch, heartfelt touch moment. Uh-huh. Driving on the way. Well, actually, even though it technically it was painted. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it was still a nice <laughs> little touchy moment. All right. So, would you recommend somebody to watch this entire season since it's now over? Yes. I don't even need to say any more or why, but yes. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say you should definitely watch it because it's phenomenal. You have a mix of racial race issues with magic. And a whole lot of other gruesome and creepiness happening in all this. It was perfect. And honestly, you have the time to watch them all. I mean, and hey, if you don't have the time to watch every single episode, you can go check it out on the channel. Agreed. But yeah, I am a little disappointed about a few parts of it. Which we'll divulge further in on our uh, breakdown of the season final. But let us know in the comments below your thoughts, reactions, and your Complete uh, feelings on uh, the season final. Did you uh, hate it? Did you like it? Did you uh, cry over it? Let us know. Until next time.